I've sort of made it almost work. Uh, got a bit of a gap down here, but let's we'll just walk past that and pretend that's not there, eh? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Fan be with you and welcome. Welcome to my little corner of the interwebs. Hey, it's great to have your company. Thank you so much for dropping by. Now, what are we playing today, you might ask? Well, that's a very good question. Thought we'd get into House Flipper. We haven't been in House Flipper for a little while now, and there has been some updates uh, in regards to House Flipper. So let's have a, a very quick look at that before we get into game. Um, what have we got? New houses. Check out your browser for new houses. Does it look familiar? Well, those who are Breaking Bad fans would recognize this house very, very quickly. And we may or may not get to that house in this episode, but we'll get to that house certainly at, at some stage. But yes, yeah, so those who are, are big are Breaking Bad fans will recognize that house very, 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 very quickly. Uh, key mappings. Uh, from now, you can map your mouse and keyboard keys. Awesome. Uh, this is a big one. This is a game changer here for, for, for me. A new floor and wall tiles. Check out your shop for new possibilities. So there we got some new floor and wall tiles uh, to play with. So the more toys to play with, the, the better. New assembly difficulty levels. Test your handyman skills. Do you know how to assemble each uh, every device by heart? So it looks like you've got a easy, normal and hard, hard modes in regards to uh, uh, the handyman skills and the assembly part of thing, uh, things. Uh, localizations, uh, Greek has been added, another language, awesome coffee tables and kitchen sets improvements. Now you can make a good use of some shelves that weren't available before. So we've got some shelves to play with and some bug fixes and improvements. So uh, some uh, yeah, bug, uh, bug fixes and stability issues uh, fixed there. So let's continue game and see what trouble we can get ourselves into. Okay, let's see how that works. Let me just a bit of a look around. Looks like our FPS may have improved somewhat, so we'll give that a crack. Now, what have we got going on at the moment? As I said, it has been some time since we've been into the Ye Old House Flipper, and looks like we've um, we were doing this up, and which we've made our office. We we're working on. Okay, so as I was saying is that uh, we're just looking at finishing this uh, this house off and I think we've got a number of houses um, already purchased. As I said, it has been some time since since we've actually uh, been in House Flipper for purchase only. So we've got five houses already purchased uh, awaiting restorations. We've got 11 that have been sold off. 300 and, let's call it 360 in the bank. So we've got plenty of coinage there. So Let's have a look what we've got going on here. So we've knocked down a couple of walls. So we were, we were taking that wall out there for some reason. That's the thing, because uh, it's been so so long since uh, since our last episode. Um, we may have been painting. We may have been working on this. What we can do, let's open that up. We actually put a sliding door into the bathroom there. You know, what could possibly go wrong? What we can do... Do, 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 do. Let's look at some of these tiles. Uh, from newest is what we want. So we've got ceramic wall tiles, white rectangular. Look, we got, have got some nice looking tiles there. Let's just um, purchase some of these and have a look. Have a look what they um, what they actually look like. So we've got that one. So we've got quite a few new tiles. Two shades of blue. Okay, so let's get some of these up on the wall and have a look what they look like. There's one of those. Yeah, so this is just for just for science. Just see what they look like and give you an idea of some of the uh, the new tiles. We won't do all of them, of course, but we'll just whack a few up on the wall just to so they can get an idea of what they look like and what think what will actually look quite nice in this but I'll tell you what I don't mind that one there some of these are a little little bit loud I'm not a big fan of that green there very uh, very 70s green but uh, I do quite like these these ones here so we might um, delete those others and 
and go with that one there. So bear with me while I retile the bathroom in this one of these new uh, new tiles. Okay, and now through the power of editing, uh, I'll just jump, cut you through to the finished product, and I'm quite happy with that. To be honest, don't mind those tiles at all. Nice, modern, clean tiles. Uh, I'll tell you what, I need, need a little bit of lighting in this bathroom, don't we? So let's look at, uh, <clears throat> let's look at some lighting, shall we? Ceiling lamps is what we're looking for. Of course it is. Um, what do we think that would look half decent in the bathroom? That sort of almost looks centre-ish, almost sort of. And we need a light switch. Modern light switch, that's what they call these days. And we'll put a wax, so that sliding door comes out there, it's probably best over this side and that on very very white isn't it but that's okay let's get rid of that we'll finish with that so that's a bathroom done i know it's a we've gone with the uh the open look bathroom a bit of a hodgepodge sort of um uh, building around the bathroom but look i've sort of made it almost work and uh, got a bit of a gap down here, but let's we'll just walk past that and pretend that's not there, eh? And um, what else we got to go? We put all our walls taken out as much as we can. So we might turn this area here into a bedroom. Can I get rid of that? No, I can't for some reason. No, well that's that's there to stay. So we're looking at putting another wall in here, perhaps making that I get rid of that no uh making that into a two bedroom maybe the kitchen over here all right i think we'll do that And it's time to upgrade uh, the last of the uh, building skills. So we've got one uh, upgrade point there to spend, and obviously we've got one man crew uh, can build max amount of walls in a line. So we'll upgrade that to its fullest upgrade. Don't know how many more we've got left. There. The handyman side, I think that's that's fully upgraded. The building, as I just said, is fully upgraded. Painting's fully upgraded. Still got a couple of. In, well more than a couple we've got uh, four remaining in the demolition side of things so 
uh, that we can do a bit later on. So yeah, it's just the demolition side of things. So we continue on, uh, continue on putting this wall in. Okay, so that, that works. Um, just looking at getting some decorations in, uh, so that this these bedrooms sort of semi look like a bedroom. So I'll just go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll bring you back after the uh, this bedroom is completed. Okay, so we add a few uh, bits and bobs to this uh, very small bedroom. Uh, some desks, TV there, some uh, some some plant life, some desk lamps. Get a bit of a lick of paint, and um, look, it's not too shabby at all. Let's get that out of here. <coughs> So we could add some bits and bobs to that bedroom, but at least that uh, that first bedroom is is completed. So we'll just close him up, and we'll uh, we'll make a start on this second bedroom. Okay, and through the power of editing, uh, I'll just bring you back now that we've finished the second bedroom. Very basic uh, second bedroom. Uh, it has got an air conditioner and and. Um, very cramped bedroom as you can see just chucked some uh, orange paint on the wall but uh, it's, a, it's a bedroom nonetheless it's a little bit difficult difficult to get out sometimes i'm wondering whether i can open that way and get out i'm stuck that's how small of a bedroom it is there we go okay let's see what we can do for the rest of the house Okay, and welcome back after painting the entire living room. Just a very plain white. Um, we've got the starts of a, of a kitchen in, um, but we are starting to make some inroads into the decoration of the, of this particular house. So, yes, we are getting there. Um, time for some more decorations, uh, perhaps some uh, uh, living room, lounge room sort of area. We could almost put another bedroom in, couldn't we? Hmm. Let me have a bit of a think about that. And a welcome back to the home admin legends house. I'm doing a little bit of off camera work just so that uh, we don't bore you too much. I've, I've moved the office to another house just so that we're all able to get their buyers up on the left hand side. So give me more of an idea of, of what they're looking for in this, this particular house. So a bit of a, a quick rundown as to um, where we're up to. Uh, this very small bedroom you would have seen in the, in the last uh, earlier on in this video uh, another small bedroom let's call that the main bedroom in there again you saw that in the uh, in the last clip but uh, have made some additions uh, since as I said doing some off-camera work at another bedroom uh, just here so um, whoops well, I've forgotten to paint that uh, that was totally intentional that's how that's going to stay over a computer station there so I'm targeting that for the uh, family here uh, that can be perhaps a teenager's room uh, again, we've gone with the uh, the raw brick uh, look there. Totally intentional. That's my excuse, and I'm going. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking with it. A kitchen here. I've just um, bricked in a modern kitchen here. Gone with the blood red paint and uh, highlighted that paint on the uh, opposite wall there. So hopefully that works for you. Hopefully that works for the buyers more. More specifically, walk into the kitchen. Uh, added some curtains as well and a very small kitchen with a, uh, a kitchen cupboards and, and a microwave and the obligatory coffee machine of course microwave there as I said and some overhead cupboard space plenty of storage plenty of storage for their books and one of the buyers wanted uh, some storage for their books and paperwork so uh, put in some more bookshelves so look we could add some more uh, bits and bobs and, and some trims but I'm pretty well happy with the way that's looking to be honest uh, let's start the selling process uh, not that one we want to press that button there there we go bought the house of 79,000 and change um, house is 94 square meters house is five rooms so it'd be interesting how they define it as a five-room house so 
it'd be interesting how how well that sell, uh, how well that sells. I beg your pardon. Giorgio comes with in with one hundred nine thousand, so we're looking at some decent money already. Uh, Jack with one hundred thirteen. Jimmy with one hundred sixteen. Dolan with one hundred twenty one. Winner coming in with uh, Raphael at 133843. Uh, what's he saying? High class, a TV in the bedroom, but there's no profit space, only for myself. Um, well, yeah, well, you do have profit space. There's a bathroom, there's a bedroom. Uh, B at the bathroom do, it does have a, a very open sliding door, but hey ho. Uh, but yeah, the winner, winner chicken dinner had 133843 and gives us a profit of $46,500. Now let's do some negotiating. So we're house sale 133. I reckon we can push it to another, at least another 10, 15 maybe. Let's push to 15 and see what he says. Yep, another 15. He's going to take it. Most excellent. So. Uh, with the negotiation of uh, 15,201 gives us a total profit of 61,686. So well, let's accept that offer and make some decent cash. Guys, thank you very much for your company in this episode of House Flipper. Certainly do appreciate it. And I'll look forward to your company in the next one. Excuse me. We'll just edit that bit out.